Hello everyone and welcome to WePC. My name's Jack and today we're going to be taking a look at the Pengo Video Sync Grabber box. So first off, who are Pengo? Well, Pengo Technology Co. is a company based in Taiwan, promising to break barriers in the world of technology. Well known for their affordable, easy to use capture solutions and chargers. But this box is truly something special. This is a capture card capable of taking not one 4K HDMI 2.0 input, but two separate 4K HDMI 2.0 inputs with support for up to 30 hertz 4K record resolution and output capabilities of 4K 60 hertz. Odd, but we'll get to that later. What I want to talk about first of all is what you'd expect to get in the box. The big box, not the grabber box itself. In the box, you'll find, well, the grabber box, of course, a power lead with UK, EU and USA adapters, one USB-C to USB-C cable and one USB-C to USB-A cable. Now, the astute among you would probably have noticed that this capture card does not come with any additional HDMI cables, despite the fact that adding this into your setup will require at least one extra HDMI cable. And you'd be right, nowhere to be seen. My recommendation to Pengo is that you include at least one HDMI cable with the box box to make this a true out of the box plug and play experience. Now we're going to go over how to set up and use the Pengo and to be honest it's pretty simple. It works like any other capture card. You plug it into the mains because this is a beefy boy that requires a little extra juice than normal and plug in your console, gaming PC or another target device into either input A or input B on the left side of the Pengo. Connect the Pengo's USB-C connector to either a USB-A port or a USB-C port using the included cables and then connect the single output HDMI port to a monitor or display device of your choice. There is a handy card in the box with instructions on it if you get stuck. The Pengo Video Sync Grabber Box does also have an included 3.5mm audio jack so you can monitor your recording's audio on the fly. Make sure that if you're using USB-A that you're connecting to a USB 3.0 port. Using a lesser USB generation will result in reduced quality and resolution when recording. Also, please avoid plugging the Pengo into any USB hubs it doesn't like to share bandwidth. Selfish. The Pengo Video Sync box allows for a massive capture resolution of 4K, 3840 by 2160 all at 30Hz refresh rate, thanks to the HDMI 2.0 ports, allowing output support of up to 4K 60fps, whilst also being HDR ready. The Pengo Video Grabber is also a pretty well equipped machine, featuring some of the latest graphical processing technology. Thanks to the team at Pengo, developing their own graphical processor, this capture card allows for HDMI VRR or variable refresh rate loop out. And through the processor, the video sync is able to convert the synced VRR signal through a USB bridge with a fixed resolution of 4K and maintain a 60Hz refresh rate. So what exactly is HDMI loopout VRR mode? Well, all it means is that the signal supports a variable refresh rate, a technology which of there are three types, G-Sync from Nvidia, FreeSync from AMD, and HDMI VRR, meaning the video sync supports the ability to vary the output refresh rate. That's all it means, pretty simple. Now there are a very wide variety of capture resolutions supported by the Pengo video sync that change when using the USB 3.0 over USB 2.0 interface and when using different video formats. You can see these on screen now. You heard me talk earlier about dual HDMI 2.0 inputs. Well, why? You can't play two games at the same time. As entertaining as it would be to watch watch someone try and play two games at once, it's not for this purpose. Although technically doable, the purpose of having dual HDMI inputs is to enable you to attach a fully fledged DSLR camera and use that as a webcam for unrivaled face cam quality. Now, yes, I know there are other solutions out there by more well-known brands, but they don't do it all in one box. The Pengo supports PIP or picture in picture mode, allowing you to, using the accompanying software, display your face cam in different configurations and layouts over your gameplay, all built right into the box. Right in, right into the box. This doesn't require any additional software or configuration. Speaking of software then, how do you actually get a picture from the box? Well, that's 
pretty simple. All you need to do is add it as a video source in whatever streaming service you may be using. For me, it's Streamlabs OBS. The manual Pengo offers does include the use of OBS when referring to using the Pengo box to capture footage. So I guess you know it's going to work in OBS. Now, as I mentioned before, you can also have multiple configurations and layer options when it comes to the Pengo's picture in picture mode. But for me personally, it's far easier to configure inside OBS where I want my sources to be. But that's just personal preference. Surprisingly, considering we're talking in terms of 4K here, you don't need a beefy PC to run with the Pengo 4K video sync box. The current stated recommended system resolutions are as follows. CPU is i5 dual core 2.8 gigahertz or higher. RAM is four gigabytes or higher. OS is Microsoft Windows 8 and above. Mac OS 10.13 and above. So this is a very reasonable set of specifications we would come to expect in modern times. So whatever your system specifications, I'm sure your PC can handle supporting the Pengo. The Pengo video sync software for me does need a little revision. It's simple and intuitive, yes, but a lot of the time I struggle to make it work. Thankfully the box works without too much software intervention, but about as much as I could get out of the software was the software version and firmware version. It didn't really do much else. Not really much to say here and that's a good thing. Recorded gameplay appears to be very smooth and vivid for all resolutions I tested, that being 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. And the colors seemed accurate. No visual aliasing or distortion, sometimes present when converting a strong HDMI signal to any other signal. All in all, for recording quality, I do very much rate the Pengo Video Sync Grabber Box. Pretty good. In conclusion then, the Pengo Video Sync Grabber Box isn't without tiny hiccups. I do think with a good old software revision and added compatibility for Windows 11, as I'm pretty sure that's our software issue, it'll be a top-notch product. The box itself is very much plug and play with no additional drivers or software to worry about too much. The box records well and doesn't cause any problems even at higher resolutions. The box itself works magic. It's a lovely, lively, robust feeling design that shouldn't be out of place incorporated into any battle station. With that being said, it is 350 US dollars and I, I know, don't click away, that's a pretty hefty price tag, but quality does come at a cost. That being said, it is a little expensive, but how many other 4K capture devices have two HDMI inputs? And that, and that can be configured to a picture-in-picture -picture mode on the fly. Exactly. Well done, Pengo. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This has been my Pengo Video Sync Grabber Box review. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Please click on the link in the description to check out where you can buy the Video Sync Grabber Box online. Thanks for watching, this has been Jack from WePC and I'll see you in the next one.